you're working on your health. So, you're doing what the gurus tell you to do. You're restricting your calories and exercising regularly. You're also eating fruits and vegetables. But just to be sure you're getting enough antioxidants, you take a vitamin C supplement. After all, oxidative stress is the enemy. Those electron-crazed free radicals create havoc inside cells, making you old before your time and causing metabolic breakdowns. I've got bad news. Mixing an antioxidant with exercise is not a health move. In fact, by mixing the two, the antioxidant effectively cancels out the benefits of the exercise sessions. All that pushing and pulling for nothing? Ouch. This is what a group of German researchers discovered when they put two groups of men through their paces. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we discover what antioxidants do to exercising. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Forty healthy young men were invited to participate in the study. None of them were fat, but they did vary in fitness. Twenty were regular exercises, chalking up more than six hours of exercise time a week. Wow! And twenty were considered to be couch potatoes since they were moving less than two hours a week. All volunteers were required to show up for a four-week exercise program, which involved 20 sessions of serious exercising. Each session began with a warm-up of 20 minutes. This was followed by a 20-minute bike ride or run, which was then followed by 45 minutes of circuit training, ending off with a 20-minute cool-down. In addition to this rigorous exercising routine, half of the guys in each group also took antioxidant supplements. The antioxidant supplementation included 500 milligrams of vitamin C or ascorbic acid twice a day and 400 international units of vitamin E once a day. The other half took pills that were duds. That is, they had no antioxidants in them. When the team took both blood and muscle samples at the start of the study and then three days into the program and shortly after the program ended, they found the pushing and pulling improved insulin sensitivity in those not taking the antioxidant supplements. But when the antioxidant was part of the mix, both the jocks and couch potatoes saw no improvement in their insulin sensitivity. No improvement. Just under two hours of exercise, five days a week for four weeks, and no improvement. How could this be? 
exercise by its very nature demands that your body ups its game. Contracting muscles are working hard. And to work hard, they need energy. And the, this energy requires the mitochondria to burn fuel. When you're burning more fuel, you generate more energy crazed electrons. And energy crazed electrons, better known as reactive oxygen species, are the bad guys. So exercise actually causes more oxidation. Antioxidants effectively snuff out these reactive oxygen species. And when they're gone, exercise stops being beneficial. It's rather counterintuitive, but these damaging free radicals are a good thing. The reason? They keep cells on their toes. The burst of ROS must be taken care of. Failure to do so could have disastrous consequences if it persists. So the cell makes a plan. The plan involves assembling a crack squad of antioxidant enzymes to take care of the damage. Antioxidant supplements do the job in the moment. So there is no need for the squad. Thanks to the pull, the oxidative stress problem has been taken care of. But in the long run, you're worse off. You're less prepared to deal with reactive oxygen stress. And those pesky electron crazed atoms are trouble with a capital T. Help your cells assemble a crack squad of antioxidant operatives. Exercise lots and get your antioxidants from your diet, not a pill. And tame your sugar gremlin. It's responsible for creating a lot of oxidative stress. To get started candy flossing, visit our website to download your free copy of the Willpower Report and begin the journey today to creating better body chemistry. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health and the health of your family? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who exercises regularly, but also takes a variety of antioxidant pills? Share this video with them. So they realize they may be sabotaging the health benefits of their exercise program. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.